The control panel consists of status indication lamps and a touch panel display. You can perform all the operations and specify settings from the control panel. When you first approach the device, the proximity sensor will turn on the device and the control panel. The angle of the control panel can be adjusted if the touch panel display cannot be seen clearly. If the proximity sensor has been disabled, you can wake the machine by touching the screen. If the machine is off, you can turn it on using the power switch. The status indicators at the bottom of the control panel consist of the following three lamps. Processing data indication. This blinks while operations such as sending or printing are being performed. Error indicator blinks or lights up when an error such as a paper jam occurs. Main power indicator lights up when the machine is turned on. This particular device is fitted with UniFlow, meaning you have to log into the device before use. Your machine may have an alternate login method or may not require login prior to use. The number of buttons and the layout of the buttons may be different to what you see on screen here. The machine can be customized by an administrator to only show the functions relevant to your organization. The main buttons allow access to the various functions of the machine. Consult the additional training videos or user manual for details. In this video, we're going to look at the other buttons visible on this screen. The menu button allows you to customize the buttons shown on the main screen. Depending on your permissions, you may not be able to perform this function. Energy Saver will put the machine to sleep. If you have had to log into the device, the logout button will log you out. Settings Registration allows you to change the machine setup. If you are logged in as a system manager, you can change device settings, while normal users can only change their personal settings. Home returns you to the main screen. Stop will stop jobs currently in progress. The 123 button will display the counters of the device along with the IP address, serial number and model. More detailed information is available using the other buttons. This icon will allow you to change the language used on the control panel. The status display will cycle through messages related to the current state of the machine. Here we can see we've logged in as a system manager and that the remote operation kit is being used. The status monitor button allows for more details about the machine. On the print copy screen we can see all pending jobs on the machine. Selecting a job allows me to get more details on the job or cancel the job. If there are a number of jobs pending, I can adjust the print order using the Interrupt Priority Print button. To see a history of the jobs, I can change to display the historical job log. Note that security restrictions on the machine may prevent you from seeing the jobs in the pending queue, job log or details in the job log. The same status as shown for print copy can be shown for send, receive and stored jobs. The consumables other screen shows the paper loaded in the trays as well as the remaining toner. Using the check consumables gives you information based on historical usage when you're going to need to replace the consumables. If you've had to log in to use the device, once you've finished, don't forget to log out. 